Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I literally just woke up and rolled out of bed like 10 minutes ago and I have errands to run today. I have shopping to do today. <sighs> so if you are getting ready yourself or you're just bored, uh, grab some coffee, grab a snack and hang out with me while I get ready. If you can hear Ranger, I'm sure you can because he barks incessantly. Coffee before talking. I know I'm wearing the sweater again. Don't judge me. <laughs> so we are going to a wedding this weekend. My hubby is actually going to be the best man. Something he's never experienced before. I mean, neither. I've never been a best man in a wedding before. Um, I'm going to use the Clinique, uh, what is this thing called? The Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer uh, in the shade Linen. This is a little light but once everything else is on it doesn't look so light i'm almost out of this i'm like really determined to use it all up yeah he's a little nervous i think just because he you know needs to write a speech and stuff and he doesn't know what he's gonna say but he's charming and funny i'm sure he'll come up with something so today, along with other errands, I have to, so it's like normal payday errands. So I have to go do all of like the grocery shopping type of thing. Cause I grocery shop every two weeks. Like I grocery shop on payday as opposed to like once a week, like most people do. <laughs> I grocery shop on payday for the two weeks. But this time, since we're gonna be gone for four days and then we have like Thanksgiving right after, um, that's the shopping that I'm going to be doing is for uh, Thanksgiving because I don't want to have to shop for Thanksgiving like the day we get back and then Thanksgiving is like the next day or something like that. So we normally host Thanksgiving so Trev still needs to decide if like that's what we're going to do because he's having eye surgery. Um, like two days before Thanksgiving. <laughs> he's having corrective eye surgery. It's not LASIK, it's something else, but he's having corrective eye surgery a few days before Thanksgiving. And they've like warned him that the recovery process is really brutal, that they, um, that you're like pretty much like in I wanna die pain for like four days afterwards. So we'll see. He just needs to decide, like, if we're going to do that or not, because I'm not going to go out and buy all this Thanksgiving stuff and then not have 20 people come over, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll still make Thanksgiving just for the two of us. <laughs> Leftovers! Four days! Which will be amazing, because last year we had so many people in and out of this house for Thanksgiving, and, you know, I was pregnant last Thanksgiving, and I craved Thanksgiving food for weeks. Like I just could not wait to have Thanksgiving food. And then Thanksgiving day came, we made a bunch of food and then we actually only had enough food for like everybody who came. Like we didn't have leftovers. We had leftovers, we had one plate worth of leftovers which I ate for breakfast the day after Thanksgiving. But I was so sad because all I wanted was just leftovers for days and days, but we didn't have any. But I mean, I guess it's like a good thing that we had enough food for everybody, but you know, like that's part of Thanksgiving is like having the leftovers for days afterwards. <laughs> Ugh. And I didn't have any. It was so sad. I'm kind of like on this mission to actually use up some products. Instead of just like buying, you know, more and more and more. Although like the temptation is too real, you know what I mean? <laughs> like what's that meme? Like I'm going to use up all of my old makeup before I buy new makeup said no woman ever. Well, I'm actually like putting in an effort. Like there are some products like these two products that are, I'm kind of getting down to the, to the bottom. And I'm just, I want to use it up. So yeah, I'm going grocery shopping today for Thanksgiving stuff, and then I'm going dress shopping for this wedding that we have this weekend. 
because I have no idea, like I have nothing in my closet to wear because this is like an, it's an outdoor wedding that's like sort of in the evening and it's like kind of in like a mountainous area. So it's not really like a party dress kind of wedding, you know what I mean? Like and a lot of my dresses are like Orange County appropriate where it's like, you know, like thin straps and really flowy and that sort of thing. So I'm on a mission today to find a dress that's like thicker fabric. Maybe I'll even wear like tights and boots type of thing. We'll see. So I don't know about you, but when I'm shopping for something, whether it's like, you know, shopping for an occasion or just like dress shop or just like clothing shopping in general, especially jeans, because jeans I feel like are the most, uh, like stressful of the shopping situations. I always have to make sure that my hair and makeup is like good. You know what I mean? Like there's something that's to be said about like when you look good or when you feel like you look good, you feel good. You know what I mean? So when I'm shopping for clothes, like when I know that I'm gonna be shopping for clothes that day, I have to make sure that I feel like I look good because if I don't then I will feel like I look like shit and then everything that I try on I'll be like oh, this looks like shit but if I feel like I look good then I'm more inclined to not feel like I look like crap you know what I mean does that make sense anybody else feel that way my face is ghostly white I'm about to pack on like 800 tons of bronzer right now oh my gosh the other night we okay so we have her in this little walker thing she was in it in one of my last videos and it's like this little thing that you just like plop her in and it's kind of like think of it like a flintstones car where it has like the bottom out but it has like wheels so she can kind of like use her feet to to walk on the floor but it's like her body's being propped up and so we have her in that thing and she loves it. She loves being in it. She'll probably be in it in a little bit because right now she's rolling around in her crib and I don't know how long that's gonna, um, how long she's gonna allow herself to just be in there without any sort of like entertainment. So anyway, so she's in her, her little walker the other day and we're watching TV in the living room and she's kind of just like, Hudson around the living room. I have a couple little toys on her, like attached to her walker for her to chew on or play with or whatever. And Trev has a couple of water bottles, just like regular sized, like small little like arrowhead water bottles on the coffee table. And she's trying to like reach them. She's trying to get to them. But because of the thing, it's like, you know, it's, she can't reach all the way onto the table because this thing kind of has her like surrounded. If that makes any sense. So she's starting to get really frustrated because she wants this water bottle and she's starting to like, meh, meh. like not necessarily cry, just kind of like do her like weird little screechy scream thing where she's like, I'm frustrated and you need to tend to my needs type of thing. And so Trev hands her the water bottle and it's so funny because I mean, it's closed and it's like a little less than half full and Trev hands her the water bottle and so she's like all excited and she's starting to like uh, chew on the cap part because she knows that that's the part where the water comes out because my child is brilliant. So she's starting to get really frustrated because the cap is on and she wants the cap to be off. So Trevor's like, okay, if you want the cap off. So he takes the water bottle from her and he takes the cap off and he hands it back to her and she immediately like has it, right? And she just goes, douche like that just totally dumps the whole thing over all down her front all in her lap and she kind of like <laughs> looks up at us like you know like a mixture of shock and like surprise and also a little betrayal like how could you let this happen to me type of thing Oh my gosh, we were laughing so hard. Like I was crying, I was laughing so hard. And she does this thing that if like something happens to her, like if something happens and like everyone laughs at her, she gets really like 
I don't know, freaked out or like really upset and she'll just immediately start to cry. Like we were at a friend's house once and she like kind of projectile spit up all over our friend and then we all thought it was really funny. So we all started laughing and then she got like really like, <gasps> and then just started to cry. But <laughs> So, you know, Charles was like, okay, I'll go change her and stuff, get her out of these wet clothes. And then joked on us because she had a horrific blowout in her diaper. <laughs> so it was like instant karma for her playing that little trick on her but oh my god it was so worth it it was so funny like I haven't laughed that hard in a while it was so funny and then I have to like pack makeup for this wedding and packing makeup is so stressful okay I have this new highlight that I want to try it is the makeup revolution uh it's like a shimmer vivid shimmer brick in radiant so it's kind of like the physician's formula shimmer strips or the bobby brown um shimmer brick or something so it's kind of like more bronzy tones up top with some like champagne mixed through and kind of like a light tur like almost white bone color so i'm gonna stick more down to the bottom here very powdery Excuse me. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty pretty. I saw this tweet from Thomas Halbert. Was it yesterday? Do for yesterday? And it was saying like, you know, don't come for me, but I'm kind of over highlight, and I'm actually. Uh, I agree. I mean, I like how has that. She says as she applies highlight. Um, I like highlight. I think that in like uh, moderation, it's really beautiful. Um, you know, not the kind of highlight where you can see it like straight on, but just like, you know, having that little like catch of light type of thing, I think it's very beautiful. But these YouTubers that put on like this giant chunk of just like sheer blinding white highlight. I just don't, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I just don't think that that's, um, I don't, I don't even think that's very pretty to be perfectly honest. I don't think it's pretty on them. I don't think it's pretty on anybody. Just having this like way, like over the top big chunk of like stripey highlight. I think that when you have it just like, you know, in a small little spot where it's like, you know, subtle but you can also make it kind of blinding as well I don't know like I don't know what I'm trying to say hopefully I'm making sense I just you know those I won't name names but those youtubers that just like pile it on and make it so like ching like I don't know I'm just not into that I just don't think that that's very attractive on anybody I think Charlotte agrees Okay, quickly, I'm going to do my brows off camera because um, that takes forever. So I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and did my brows. They are a little dark, a little bold, if you will, but um, my bangs will be down, so they won't really be that uh, large and in charge in your face. I also got rid of my foundation lips and I put on some of this lip oil. If you saw my most recent video where I did my um, vanity tour, um, I talked about this. This is the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil in Jojoba and Peach. So good. So good. I'm going to bust out the old modern renaissance. I was watching... Uh, I almost said Nikki tutorials. No, I was watching Rob You Chrissy last night, and um, she was doing her Prism uh, review, and it just made me think about my modern Renaissance and how I haven't used it in a long, long time. I love Rob You Chrissy. She's probably my favorite YouTuber to watch. If you don't watch her. She's real good. She's the best. She's just so like real and entertaining and funny and talented and all of the things. I'm a big fan. So I started watching Gossip Girl a few days ago. Um, how come nobody talks about that show? I mean, I know it's been over, but um, 
How come, like, I have never heard anybody talk about it ever? I'm actually really enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, like, kind of, like, cheesy and, you know, like, overly dramatic and, you know, these bougie-ass kids. But, I don't know, I'm a little bougie. Or at least I'm bougie at heart. But I'm pretty sure I already know, like, from spoilers and stuff, like, who the Gossip Girl is. I mean, that's kind of the crummy thing about, like, waiting so long to watch a show that's, like, been off the air for so long. You know what I mean? Because things are going to get spoiled for you. Um, does anybody watch This Is Us? I love that show. That show is my new all-time favorite show. It used to be Grey's Anatomy, but it has taken Grey's Anatomy's place. And that's saying something, because Grey's Anatomy has been like my number one for a long, long time. And I mean, I still love Grey's Anatomy. It's still really good. But in this last episode, oh my gosh, I cried so much. But This Is Us is just so incredibly well done it deserves all the awards it deserves all of the attention it is so good it's so good like if you've never seen it i highly encourage that you watch it it's just like a show where it is like the timeline isn't linear it hops back and forth but it just is like so well done that you don't even feel it hopping back and forth or there's like no confusion about you know the timeline or like how like the order in which things happen or anything like that it's just oh it's so well done and each episode has you laughing and crying and then crying and then laughing and it's just like oh it just pulls on all of my heartstrings and it's just so good I even got my parents to watch it so like every Wednesday I'll call them up and we'll talk about it. <laughs> this is a very like um kind of rusty looking look but I'm going for definitely a more like a fall look because you know like I said this <laughs> this wedding is kind of like in the mountainous area and I know that her colors are burgundy and I'm pretty sure navy so I'm gonna be going for that kind of like fall looking like I really hope that I can find a dress that's like kind of like mustardy or brown or even purple I want something that's kind of like darker or even navy. I mean, I don't mind matching my husband. I just, I like texted her yesterday. I was like, uh, what are your colors again? Because I don't want to match your bridesmaids by accident. <laughs> on her little, she's right there. On her little uh, walker, right in the center, there's this thing. It's kind of like, it looks kind of like a steering wheel. And it makes these clicky sounds. But there's a mirror smack in the middle of it. And she is obsessed. Like, she keeps trying to eat it. Like, she keeps trying to, like, lean forward and grab it and, like, eat it. She loves looking at herself in the mirror or whatever. Like, whenever I am taking, like, pictures with her and stuff, I'll put the selfie cam on. And she, like, goes nuts. She loves looking at herself in the mirror. It's the cutest thing ever. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into the Shanoxo palette. I love this color right here. It's so good for an inner corner highlight. I'm obsessed. But, um, she just came out with, like, her Shanoxo, like, remix palette. Oh, and I really want it. And it, it's like, I really want it, but I also don't know if I want it. If I ever get it, then I'll have to give this palette away because half of it is this. And then the other half is like uh, different shades, so there's no lipstick. So I'm really tempted to get it. Um, if it comes to Ulta, I'll probably get it. And then I'll end up giving this to my sisters. Because this is such a good palette, but it's like I can't really justify having both when one side of the other one is this exact same palette. You know what I mean? 
So it's kind of like having just two of the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna quickly uh, do mascara, pop on lashes, and then I will probably do my hair, and then I'll be back to do a lip and to wrap this up. So I'll be right back. 